Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. We're getting on I 70 eastbound. We're heading to Denver, then we're heading north. I decided not to stay in Colorado. It's just too hot yet. So we're going to head north. Plus, we're going to maybe even make it up to Sturgis soon. Yay! <laughs> I was invited back up to film up there. I thought about it and I said, why not? I'll be at a campground. I won't be in the big crowds. So we'll see. I'll play it by ear, play it safe. Look at this view. Anyway, I figured I-70, it's a beautiful drive. It's been a lot of years since I drove this road. It's a very pretty drive over to Denver. Then once we get to Denver, I'm taking I-25 north. And we're gonna fast track it straight up into Wyoming. But I'll be filming it. You'll be seeing it. Now check this out. One thing you get on I-70. Have you guessed yet? Tunnels! <laughs> if you're claustrophobic, you don't want to drive this road. We're going to go through quite a few. Actually, uh, down the road, Eisenhower Tunnel. I think that's at 11,000 feet. Way up there. So, be fun. Enjoy the ride. Anyway, I'm just going to let the camera roll. Enjoy the scenery. I will be back in Colorado probably uh, in about several weeks and we'll do some exploring down here once it cools down it's in the high 90s close to 100 everywhere I wanted to go here look at those mountains up there isn't that just picture perfect Nothing like the Colorado Rocky Mountains. That's what it looks out the side. It's early morning, the sun's just now getting up there. Let's look off towards the mountains. Alright, enjoy the ride. is the Colorado River right there. We're going to be following it the whole way. That kind of cut the path through here when they built the road. I love to name some of these towns like Rifle and Parachute and <laughs> Gypsum. Just a cool ride. And you talk about history. All these little towns have it all. We got another tunnel coming up. Looks like I got one of the lanes blocked off in it. What's the old saying? The light at the end of the tunnel. Yay! <laughs> There's 
the Colorado River, but isn't this picturesque? Look how they elevated the other side to make it fit. I mean, this is some superior engineering here, making an interstate through uh, these mountains. Just a scenic, pretty ride. There's also bike trails along through here. Camping, fishing, all kinds of stuff. There's a little side view. You can see down the river. see people just fishing all over the place plus rafting big rafts going down that's a rest area down there it looks like all right keep on rocking Here comes another tunnel. <laughs> Aren't these cool? Imagine that. What it took to build this road. Oof. Look at that. Wow, what a view. Look at those. Isn't just, just gorgeous. They get snow here by the feet. It's deep. But what a pretty, pretty place in the summer. We're climbing an elevation too. We're starting to get up there. My ears are popping. Temperature's dropping too. Because over in Grand Junction, where we left, it was uh, even early morning, is almost 80. Now we're, it's on the dash, it says 71 degrees here. We're climbing. We're going to go up to Vale, then it's Silverton or something like that. I think that's where the Eisenhower Tunnel is. Look how elevated that section of the freeway is. Look how they put it way up there. What a view, huh? <laughs> Enjoy the ride.
it's starting to open up, but we're way up. Look at the pines now. We're up in the pine trees. Definitely climbing. Ski Lodge country up here. Look at all those big resorts and townhouses. It, it is expensive row here to live up in this neck of the woods. I really can't show the camera, but there's uh, ski lifts going up the mountains there. You can actually see little patches of snow yet. Look at that. Check out all the pine trees. You know, they're under a huge uh, fire restrictions right now, fire danger, because of the hot weather, low humidity. Can't blame them, look at all this. Just pine trees everywhere, pretty, pretty. All right, keep on trucking. Hit a snag here, it's getting slow. Some road construction. Sure is pretty. Look how the tree line ends way up. <laughs> this is coming up as Copper Mountain, something like that. Just look at all the lodges, townhouses. Way off you can see there's a ski lift. Just as far as you can see. Big parking lots, look at that. This is a winter wonderland. If you're into skiing, this is where you want to come. If you can afford it. <laughs> look at that. Still climbing. That Eisenhower tunnel should be coming up a few miles. Pretty blue sky. Get a chance, drive this road. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.
this is Silverhorn. Sign said no, elevation 9,700 feet, and we're still climbing. <laughs> From Vale, we kind of dropped down. Now we're going back up. trucks and RVs are struggling. We made it. We're almost up top. We're almost up this Eisenhower tunnel. I'm trying to remember. I bet it's been at least 15 years since I drove this road. Had to have been that long. Okay, here we go. This thing's like a mile and a half long. <laughs> And this also cuts through the Continental Divide, I think. This is like, we're at 11,000 feet. Hold your breath, here we go. fast pace, huh? Go through this thing. Yay! Made it! 11,000 feet. <laughs> now we're on the other side of the Continental Divide. Yay! And guess what? It's downhill from here. We're only about 50 miles from Denver, and we're going to drop straight on down. Ah, here's a little pull-off. I'm going to stop take a break check out the scenery a minute sure is pretty through here There is a uh, ton of traffic on that road. Look at the hillside there. I hear water roaring. Look over the edge. Yeah, there's a big stream down there going. Railroad track. See a few houses. What a pretty, pretty place. Except for the roar of that freeway. Oh my goodness. This echoes through here. Well, cool. I don't know if you can see the water down there. Pine trees, Colorado Rockies. All right, let's get going.
right, once again, we'll explore Colorado. Hopefully in September, I'll get back down here on the way back to Arizona. Should be much cooler. We'll take our time going back through there. Because there's several places I'd like to explore, especially back along that uh, Route 50, US 50, like we did last year. That'll be kind of cool. But now we're heading north. Here we are, I-25 North. Probably got about 90 miles up to the Wyoming border. I want to get up there close, spend the night. We're going to check out Cheyenne, Wyoming tomorrow morning. That'll be next video. And we'll just keep on trucking north. Looking for that cooler weather. Yay! <laughs> Here we go, north. As always, I hope everything's safe in your neck of the world. The journey continues. This is the Virtual Vacation 2020 Summer Tour of RVR TV. Hope you're enjoying it. Talk soon. <laughs>